You know what OTG? Yeah, you know me. You know what OTG? Yeah, you know me. Come on, we're gonna talk about OTT. Let's go. Today, we're gonna to talk about OTT, which is over the top media buying and how it can impact your business, how it can impact your company and your clients. This is gonna be a big deal. This is actually an in-depth training. This isn't just me speaking in front of the camera. This is an in-depth training, so make sure you get your pen, your paper, your notes, because this is something that I'm gonna give you that can be a tool in your tool bag. You can go out and use and sell this service as a designer, as a video guy, motion desi designer, web designer, any of these things, you can take this and sell this service and make a lot of money. This is a growing market, and I want you to be able to capitalize on that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the train. So streaming is exploding with growth, and it's one thing for me to say that to you, but it's another for me to prove it. And I can't prove it without showing you the data, showing you the details of what's happening right now with cable compared to streaming. So I'm gonna talk about TV as well, but I'm gonna be mostly focused on this training. The OTT market, again, which is over the top, is worth $121.61 billion in 2019. Now you've probably watched some of my other videos where I've talked about market size of being worth a billion, $2 billion. Those are huge numbers. But now with OTT, we're talking about 121 billion as of 2019, and it will grow to over 1 trillion. Yes, trillion with a T. We're going from a P to a T and it's gonna be 1 trillion by 2027. That's a research study that was done by Allied Market Research. Yes, a trillion dollars, which 51% of that revenue is coming from advertising. Netflix, which is the biggest OTT service in the USA in terms of revenue, with over 30.8% of all the subscriptions heading their way, it's undeniable that the USA has a problem with streaming and watching TV. It's a, issue across the country who just want to stay home and binge watch tv shows and the amount of time that people are spending will blow your mind and i can admit it i spend realistically every single week about four to five hours a week most of society is spending over 40 hours per month that's over 10 hours per week 40 hours a month the platform reach of ott is insane it's going to blow your mind there are actually more streaming contracts in the united states than there are people with over 340 40 million OTT contracts, and there's only 330 million people. So that's actually a study that was done by Ampere Analysis. Worldwide, over 770 million people buy a streaming service. That's nearly a 40% increase from just the year before that's done by Strategy Analytics. So that's a really powerful stat, some powerful information that you need to know about. The most popular streaming platforms, you're probably wondering what these are, I'm gonna put them up on the screen here, is YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, HBO, Amazon Prime Video, Peacock TV, Disney Plus, and of course, Apple TV. Because of streaming's ability to micro-target its users, for example, a 17-year-old boy and a 32-year-old woman could stream the same episode of Bob's Burgers but each view a completely different advertiser. They can target a video game console advertisement to a teenager and a cruise package to a woman. So the amount of streaming potential, not just on televisions now, but also on video game consoles has expanded. You can target people by age, gender, location, income level, education, ethnicity, and most importantly, the time of day that they're actually using platforms. This is a big deal. So it's really important that you understand that OTT has a lot of power. Cable does have a lot of power as well. I'm going to talk about that here in just a minute, but I really want you to know these numbers and know these stats to prove what I'm going to talk about in the rest of this video. So I'm just curious, how much time do you actually spend on these streaming platforms, the Netflix, the Hulus, the Disney Plus? How much time are you spending per week? Drop it down in there in the comments. I'm curious, what's your favorite network? Are you a Hulu person? Are you a Netflix person? Do you watch more TV shows? Are you a movie person? So one of the things I really wanted to talk about in this, along with OTT, is television. And it is not dead. There's a lot of uh, myths going around that TV is dead, that there's all these cord cutters, and there are. A lot of people are switching off of, core, off of cable, traditional cable TV and going to streaming platforms, but yet they still have 54% of the time that's spent on television was on network and cable TV. 
Comcast is the, really the biggest one. That's the biggest cable provider. They have over 22 million subscribers, 22 million. The truth is though, that they're gonna have to evolve as many, many millions of Americans are cutting the cord more than ever before, and they're switching to streaming platforms like Netflix and Hulu. It is predicted that 55 million people will cut the cord by 2030. If you pair television up with streaming, the global population of TV and video streaming devices exceeds 1.1 billion devices. Ultimately though, TV is dominated by the biggest companies in the world, and so their prices can be very unreachable for a small business owner, especially a mom and pop. Unlike streaming, streaming gives us a fair shot and a fair fight in the game of streaming on television. So if you have the budget, television is a great, great avenue for you. We have to be consistent and it's also kind of hard to track, but I really want you to understand that streaming is where everything is going, but TV is here to stay. I don't think it'll ever be completely gone, but it's definitely moving in that direction. And if companies like Comcast don't evolve, they're gonna end up becoming the blockbuster. So this is important for you to know. So I'm just curious, uh, how many of you guys that are watching this video still have cable TV? And how many of you have actually switched? If, you hit, if you've actually cut the cord already, I want you to drop a comment down below it cut the cord. I cut the cord. You cut the cord, congratulations. I actually did that myself about six years ago and I didn't even replace it. A lot of people are replacing their cable television with local TV by using the Hulu Live. It's very expensive. I tried it for out for like a month or two and it was just way too much money and it really didn't have that much value for me. But a lot of people are cutting the cord. People are still cutting the cord and it's gonna be happening for probably the next decade. But I'm curious, have you already done that? Let me know down in the comments below. So you're probably watching this video today for a specific reason. You came here because you want to make money with OTT. You want to know what the revenue potential is. OTT video advertising is set to have ad revenues of 119 billion, like I talked about before, by 2023, which 51% of all OTT revenues are coming from. When watching OTT content, 40% of viewers actually paused what they were watching to go online and check out or even purchase that product. That is pretty advanced. The fact that they can stop it, you can't stop typical television, right? You can't pause it unless you got like a TiVo or some sort of device like that. And you can actually pause streaming. So a lot of people, 40%, almost half of the people that watch streaming have paused it and made a purchase. And that was actually a stat that was provided by OpenX. So that is a really big deal. Products that are being advertised to them, 40% of people, one out of four are actually buying them. So there are three tips that I wanna give you guys today that I felt was really important to share in this video specifically to help you really get the most out of OTT if you're gonna get started. So the first tip, number one, is you gotta get good with video. You see the companies like Squatty Potty and Purple Mattress and Dr. Squatch and Dollar Shave Club, they have become masters at telling stories and captivating audience and doing viral videos. You have to invest the more money that you put into your video production, the more that you invest into the video, the higher the returns you're gonna get and the higher the revenue potential. So it's really important that you don't shortcut this area and just do something cheap and throw something together. You wanna take the time to actually plan it out, storyboard it, have a good script and do something viral that's gonna make people wanna share it. Making shareable content is way more important. The second tip that I wanna give you is really setting a realistic budget. If you think you're gonna jump into the OTT space, for a thousand bucks a month, you're gonna be throwing money down the drain. You need to realistically be coming into the OTC space with at least five grand, but my professional recommendation for doing this for as long as I have is to come in with at least $10,000 a month, and I wouldn't set anything less than at least an expectation of 90 days. So that means you're gonna to need to invest at least $30,000 to do an OTT streaming campaign the right way if you want good visibility, so you're playing with the big boys, you're playing with the Coca-Colas, the Sonys, the video game companies, the dating sites. You're competing with the biggest companies in the world like you would be on TV. So it's important that you play with the big boys and you got some bigger budget. So if you're not ready for that, that's okay. There's lots of other options for you and you can build up to that. The third piece, and this is where I see a lot of people make mistakes, and I've made this myself in the past, is knowing the difference between the type of campaigns that you're doing. Then you got political campaigns and stuff like that. I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is a branding campaign versus a, a revenue generation campaign. A campaign that makes an offer, some sort of irresistible offer to generate income, revenue, sales, business, dollars through the door versus pitching your brand and keeping that top of mind awareness. Understanding the two and when to use them, how to use them, and the frequency of those both is really important. 
TV advertising is really good for branding, but it can also drive a lot of direct response sales. And that's what I want you to use it for because that's what's going to bring you the ROI. If you're a massive company and you're just trying to kind of write some things off and you're just trying to put some money somewhere where it's going to bring you some top of mind awareness, then doing a branding campaign on OTT can be really good for you. But that in a nutshell is OTT and TV and how you can utilize it in your business. Those are the tips that I wanted to give you. Those are the different methods that you can do and also what it costs. So hopefully that was really helpful for you guys. I love making these videos. I love sharing this content. This is stuff that I'm super passionate about. And that's why I keep coming back week after week, every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday. So with that all being said, I have one last thing, one super important thing. That's not a request. It's actually an invitation. I would love to invite you to join the Instagraphics Pro Network. It's a community of designers that are motion, web, and graphic designers that we're building together. We're doing summits and events and trainings and collaborations and giving each other feedback on our designs. It's a really powerful group. It's growing quickly. And we have a lot of amazing stuff planned for in the future. So make sure you hit the link down in the description of this video to take advantage of the invite that I'm giving you right now. I'm personally inviting you to join us. You need to fill out all the information when you go to join the group. If you don't fill out 100% of the questions, I think there's only like four questions, I won't let you in. I'll hit deny and you won't be invited back. So make sure you fill out all the questions to the group. And I look forward to seeing you guys there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.